Mm. Well, that's at you if I walk back to the dark area. Why should I turn around? Do you guys hear like footsteps? <coughs> no. That's your mind. Yes, it is probably. It's drizzling. I it's raining. Think it was supposed to rain today. Huh. Uh, can this stuff get wet or do I put it up? The camera is waterproof, but if it starts to pour, too, the only problem is though. Well, what about all the equipment the only, on it and this? Here's one bigger issue of the equipment. It being cold, raining, I don't want any of us getting sick. Okay guys, so here's the deal. We were getting some good stuff. However, it is December and it is cold out. It did start to drizzle. So, so Gage, how did you feel about this? In your opinion? I mean, from the time we got here, I was already stoked as is because for anyone who's a fan of Halloween or Tim Burton, you got the ornate tombstones, you got the archway, the trees. It's a creepy little cemetery. I mean, and then when we came in, we already started getting activity, got a little bit on the spirit box. I, I don't know, this is a very interesting place. I wish we would've got a little more. Maybe once we listen back and we get to play back the footage, we could probably have some more answers to what was going on here or maybe have a little more. But I w it's very interesting though, hmm. uh, especially with the, um, the reverend and the ministers. There's a lot of them buried in this um, cemetery. I'm kind of curious which one is actually the one that's hunting the buildings back there. I think it's very interesting. Um, when Gage and you were actually walking around trying to listen for uh, sounds and stuff, I did get three small spikes that did go all the way to red, but by the time I would have called you guys back to look, when I was just staying back, it would have been, they were already gone. Hmm. Um, I did see something, and um, I don't know exactly what it was, but I want to kind of see what else we can find out here. I want to know what all there is out there. Instead of me getting on camera, because I got the backpack and things, I'll just say it like oh, yeah. off camera. We actually, we've yeah. got the camera plugged into a power brick right now so that we can charge it while we're using it, so that way my dad will not be on camera. Um, one question, Robert. Being your father, I have no idea and maybe people at home haven't decided to comment about this and i don't comment on your channel anymore because i'm in your videos yeah but i want to know what does a rem pod do well, just what? for the abrupt change right there but um our camera battery actually did die i'm not sure what's going on with the power brick that we're using okay the ram pod mm -hmm. so who's got the emf, the EMF reader it's in my pocket i think okay yeah. so this thing it lights up like this okay yeah and here's the deal with the REM pod not only do you get lights it beeps which as you'll notice when i'm in, whenever i do say when i reach 500 yep. which i am i'm gonna buy the yep. REM pod and i put my fingers up you'll notice that there's a noise that goes off Now, I do want to let all of you know that is not the exact noise. The website that I use, I cannot find the exact noise, but I try to get as close as I can. So it's not going to be that annoying like beep, 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 like beep, 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 beep. It's not that something annoying like that. It's more like, um, like um, if when you get the ringing in your ears, only it's not going to be in your ears. It's going to be coming from this. And what happens is it's got an antenna like on the spirit box. Yeah. And what happens is, from what I've read, it's a 360 degree, like, um, sensory tool or something like that. And if something gets within two inches of that antenna on either side, not only will it light up, but it will ring. And so you literally set it in the middle of the floor and it does run off one battery. I want to say it's a, either a D, maybe a C or a nine volt. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. But, so you sit in the middle of the floor and within two inches. Yeah, but huh. the trick is set on a flat surface to make sure there's no electrical interference. You put it on grass and dirt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can put it anywhere and uh, just make sure the antenna is all the way up and then you ask the spirit like yes or no questions and stuff like that or like questions we ask the EMF meter and 
Here's the thing, I may be colorblind, but get this, I looked at it, I can tell which light is supposed to be which. It, like, I don't mean I see the exact color, but I know which light is supposed to be. It goes red, yellow, blue, and green. I can tell which lights are supposed to be which, mm. so I can even use it, which mm -hmm. is neat. Okay. But it make it's like this, mm -hmm. but it rings, and it's a different method. Huh. And those cool. things, from what I know, it actually <laughs> way it's different from this. This detects them. This thing puts out its own electric field. So if something comes with an interference, it will set off. Okay. So it would actually give them a little energy. All right, so let's see. Yeah, you look like you had something you wanted to add real quick. Oh, um, so pretty much like he was saying with a REM pod, and sort of like it's a door sensory one, so it'll do the exact same as the reader without it sitting there going through radio channels it's silence and it'll make a beep instead. So we won't hear what they're actually saying, but it'll go ahead and it'll flash the light indicating what the answer is, depending on how we want to set the light. Huh. And it'll also give us a distinct beep going with that light. So we can set red is a yes and blue is a no, almost like a Simon Says, but instead of it going around telling us what to do, we can use it to set each light and beep as a different answer. Huh. It's kind of so like, we, sounds, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt mm -hmm. you there. No, you're go fine, ahead. go ahead. Okay, so yeah. from the way you're explaining it, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but from the way it sounds, doesn't it sound kind of like a little bit of the spirit box and a little bit of an EMF meter combined into one specific tool? Yeah, you don't hear what they're saying through a radio and you don't get the words but you get four lights in the antenna and you get to have pretty much, you can establish what each light means or what each type of beep mean, like beeping and the, the beep and the lights mean together. So say you wanted to establish green or blue is yes and red is no. Okay. Then they can set off that light to let us know so we have a more distinct answer without having to go through and re-listen. Yeah. Yeah. Or having to use that and all we get is one light. Yeah. Yeah. But this way we can have a much clearer and a much more definitive answer to our questions so we can follow them up okay. and possibly build up and get much better answers in the future. Yeah. Okay, well do you want to do your outro because we're going yeah, to Yeah, and I will say too, really good job too on the description there. Yeah. To get better clarity, if you want to know exactly what the sound the REM pod's going to make is, just go on YouTube and type in REM pod sounds and just find some random video of someone using it tap on it and you'll clearly hear it that's that, okay. and you'll hear the exact sound okay all right so be sure and drop a like and smash that subscribe button make sure you select post notifications which is the bell right beside where it says subscribe make sure that's selected all that way you don't miss a single time that i drop a new video and uh, be sure and also comment down below let me know what you thought of all this let me also know what you think of doing like an equipment haul and stuff like that showing you everything let me know if you're excited about the REM pod too i also want to know how excited you guys are be sure to share as well See you guys in the next one. All right. Peace out, y'all.